Hey everybody, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com with another iPad app of the week. And the one I'm showing you is uh, open already. It's called Echophone or Ecophone, and uh, it looks like that, the icon, when you load it up. Uh, it's a basic Twitter app, and I know you're saying, oh gosh, not another Twitter app. But this one has one feature that I think is really interesting, and that made me switch from my previous favorite Twitter app, Usfora. And the reason I switched is because it's available not only on the desktop, but also on iPhone and iPad. And you say, well, big deal. But the thing is, it syncs between the three different platforms. What that means is, as you're on the iPad, and you're looking at your stream of uh, uh, Twitter tweets, and here I've gotten all the way to the top, and there are no n more new ones on here. Uh, I'm done reading here. So after I exit the app, and then say a couple hours from now, I want to check out my feed on the phone. Now realize I'm going to open up Ecophone on my or Echophone on my uh, iPod or my iPhone right here and I haven't opened it in quite some time. So as I open it it immediately syncs so that the the most recent feed uh, tweet is also the most recent tweet on my iPhone. Now I don't know of other ones that are as lean as this app is that do that. I know some other ones that do it, but they, they're just too much junk. <laughs> and this one's a, a just kind of a lean, simple app. And that's what I look for in a, a, a Twitter app for either the iPad or the iPhone. And it also works there is a version on the desktop, although I don't really use it. It's got all the features you'd want. You know, it finds tweets that mention you, uh, direct messages from other people to you. One of the interesting things about those direct messages. Here I'll open up one I think from our editor Josh Smith. Yeah it looks like this is something I can show you on camera. And notice it puts it into conversation uh, as if this was a uh, uh, a text message conversation that we were having. Uh, these other ones do the same thing and so I like that. That's a neat feature. It handles lists and works with your list so if you're either listed or follow some lists it works fine. It does your favorites, retweets that you've sent all of the things that a basic Twitter app would want to do, uh, it handles multiple accounts. But uh, let me show you the, here's the panel, what it looks like when you send a tweet. So I'll send one here. Alright, so there I have, I've set up, I've said I'm demonstrating, uh, <laughs> and unfortunately it didn't like the word echo phone. I don't think I typed it that way, so let's try again. Yep, it wants to replace it, and I didn't notice it. So there you go. Now, if I want, I could just close this without sending it, and it would save it as a draft. I could delete it, or let's say I wanted to uh, add somebody to it. I could do it that way. I can add my location, or I can add, say, uh, uh, an app, a, uh, a picture. So let's do this. Let's. We just took a screenshot of it. So now we're going to find that screenshot, add it, use, and so it's going to upload it. So now I'll send that. So if you're following me on Twitter, that's K-A Purcell, K-A-P-U-R-C-E-L-L -L, on Twitter, then uh, you'll see that tweet in the stream. Now see, it's just automatically updated. So again, I've read through these. I've read these tweets. Now I'll go on to the iPhone exit out of there, go back in, and watch here in just a second, it's going to update, at least it should, <laughs> it's going to make a liar out of me, alright, well yeah it did, it just, it just put mine at the top here, whereas you can see these others are below it, whereas on the iPad where it uh, did it locally, it put it first, it saw those first. So again, it immediately updates. That's one of the reasons why I like it. It's $4.99 in the App Store, and my number one favorite benefit of it, aside from being simple and lean and doing all the basic features that you would want to do, um, is, of course, that it uh, syncs with your other devices. Now, of course, you can do all the things you normally would do. You can reply to that. If I wanted to reply, I could. Um, mark it as a favorite. I could just simply retweet it. The more button, you know, mail the tweet, reply to everyone in the tweet, or just copy it 
those are all the basic features. It has here the refresh button. It won't probably find any more. Maybe it will. But it's a simple, simple app, and I recommend that you follow me, K.A. Purcell. Also remember to follow Notebooks.com and without take out the dot, and uh, you can find us on Twitter. And that way, anytime we post an article on our website, you'll receive a uh, notice on Twitter. And uh, uh, it does push notifications. It does basically everything you would want a Twitter app to do. For 4.99 is the pro version. It has a free version as well. Uh, the free version only works on the iPhone. But it's a great little Twitter app, and it's now my new favorite, and it's the one that I use exclusively, and so I recommend it as this week's iPad App of the Week for Notebooks.com. This has been Kevin Purcell. Thanks for watching.